Blake Staker here with Westside Medical, and today we're going to talk about um, spinal decompression and what it is. What talks about decompression is talking about the inner discal pressure here in the lumbar spine. So you have these, these lower discs, and each disc has an inner discal pressure dependent on the body position. And so if you have a standing position here, you have a greater inner discal pressure than you have lying down. And so technically, that decrease in inner, inner discal pressure could be considered decompression. But how decompression works is, is you want to lower the inner discal pressure as much as you can so water can pump in to these discs through like the, the going from like a, a higher pressure to a lower pressure. And the reason why that's important is that the water is going to carry oxygen and nutrients that's vital for these discs for their health as well as well as working out any kind of irritation you might have in here with the oxygen nutrients that it carries. And so like when they when you do spinal decompression, generally what you do is you you're going to traction out the spine like so. And what happens is like the traction actually flattens out this lordosis. So what the lordosis is is this, this curve in the low back, like right through here, this is your lumbar lordosis or that, that posterior curve. So you lay down and you apply traction, it's going to traction that out. And generally that straightening of the spine, that's that's what goes on with spinal decompression. And with, with spinal decompression, it's kind of almost theoretical. Like you can't measure like a negative disc pressure. There's no way to do it. You can only measure the actual positive values. But the reason why everybody still goes along with the term spinal decompression is because it has a lot of value. You get really great results with it. So if we go over here, we're going to talk about how this uh, reverse hyper from Westside Medical, how this is used for spinal decompression. So first, let's talk about the patient positioning. So if you look here, already the patient is lying down in this position. So you already have a low starting inner discal pressure. So the lower the pressure, the more fluids are going to pump into the disc to help the irritation as well as help the injury. And so as somebody goes through these the reverse hyper's range of, uh, range of motion through the exercises, you're actually going to get this posterior rotation in the pelvis here, and that creates the flattening of that lumbar spine that we talked about the traction, the, what the traction does. So that flattening of the lumbar spine is going to cause this spinal decompression. What's also nice is with how this is different than a traction unit is, is you have that posterior hip rotation, you get that decompression, but then you also have that contraction portion, you lift the hips up, it's going to fire these muscles here. When these muscles contract, it's going to actually increase that inner discal pressure. So you're, what you're getting is the fluctuation of positive inner disc pressure as well as negative inner disc pressure, or theoretical, uh, theoretical negative inner disc pressure. And that fluctuation actually kind of helps pump that fluid into these discs. So in my opinion, it's more viable with this, this standard traction. It's almost like a, like a dual like therapy uh, device. So let me demonstrate how it works here. So you have a patient hop up here. You step on these foot pegs, hop up, and you want to get your pivot point right around the femur head here. Grab one of the posts, keep these lats tight. You're going to go through this range of motion here. So you get that, that traction, like that that posterior rotation of the pelvis flattening out the lumbar curve, so that's going to be that, that spinal decompression. And then that, that contraction of those muscles, increasing that, that disc pressure, you get that, that pumping action, bringing fluid into the discs. And so here in my clinic, we have patients do about three sets of 10, and then we work up to about four sets of 10. So for any information on this table, visit us at westaid-medical.com.